Namaste. This is Ching from Yoga Pilates. Today we're going to do a class for beginner that combine yoga, pilates and yin stretching at the end to bring the body to balance and health. We're going to lie on the back and open our arms and legs. Trying to find a very comfortable position where everything is relaxed. Then we start to observe how your body feels. Do you feel a stiff part in your body? Can you let it go? Do you feel your breathing? Is it shallow in your chest? Or very slow to your body? Then we start to pay attention to the belly. As you inhale, the diaphragm goes down and the body, the belly goes up. As you exhale, the belly goes down. Slowly, you open, inhale to your belly. Exhale, you relax your eyes. Inhale slowly to your belly. Exhale, relax your jaw. Inhale to your belly. Exhale, relax your eyes. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your neck. Inhale slowly to your belly. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your upper back. Inhale slowly to your belly. Exhale, relax your lower back. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your legs and feet. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax the whole body. Your thoughts are on your breathing. Keep your breathing evenly in and out. If any other thought that cross your mind, let them cross like the trains in front of your eyes. We concentrate on your breathing and relax your body. We start to place the hand to the side of the ribs to feel the movement of the ribs to the side at the back onto your belly. As you exhale, the rib slowly goes down. As you inhale, the rib cage 
open slowly like a balloon. As you exhale, the balloon goes slowly flasher and flasher. Inhale slowly for two, three, four, five. Exhale for two, three, four, five. Inhale for two, three, four. Five, exhale for two, three, four, five. Slowly, you bring your legs together and push your chest flat so that the ribs soften towards your belly and your arm reaching above your head. If you feel stiff in your shoulders, you can open like a letter V instead of parallel. Bring the big toes together. Take a deep inhale to your ribs and belly. As you exhale, you're going to bring the knee close to you and relax your lower back. Slowly inhale and your arm next to your ears, stretch. As you exhale, pulling your knee into your chest, relax your lower back. As you inhale, stretch your arms away from your feet. As you exhale, bring your knee close to your chest and relax. Open your arms, inhale, stretch your arms away from your ears, and exhale, relax your lower back, inhale slowly, and extend your arms away from your feet. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest and relax. Inhale, open your arms and stretch your arm very long. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Keep your knee closed into your chest and open your elbow to the side and turn the forearm down. Inhale slowly. Exhale. Open your forearm. Stretch your legs until where you can and flex your feet. Inhale, knee close to your chest. Exhale, open your forearm and flex your feet. Inhale, knee close to your chest. Exhale, extend your arms and flex your feet. Feet on the floor and elbow next to your ribs until where you can. Inhale, very slowly. Exhale, open your knee and stretch your arm very long. Inhale, elbow close to your ribs. Exhale, open your knee and stretch your arm long. Inhale, elbow to the ribs. Exhale, extend your arms and open your knee. Place your two feet outside the mat. Extend your arms away from your head. Inhale slowly, open ribs and belly. Exhale, bring your knee to the right and your arms to the left. 
Inhale, extend your arms away from your hips. Exhale, knee to the left, arm to the right. Inhale, extend your arms. Exhale, knee to the right, arm to the left. Inhale, extend your arms. Exhale, knee to the left, arm to the right. Slowly come back in the middle. Then place the right over the left and slowly bring the legs, the left knee towards the left chest closer. You would feel a stretch in the right hips here. If you cannot reach your legs, you can use an uh, band, an elastic band, as extension from your arms. Keep your shoulder relaxed. Inhale slowly, bring your knee towards your chest. Slightly turn your head and legs to the right, in the middle and left. Inhale, bring your knee towards your chest. Exhale, slowly turn to the right, middle and left. Inhale, we stay here. The other direction, left, middle and right. Inhale, slowly bring it close. Exhale, turn left, middle and right. Inhale, can you stay here? Option one, you stay the same position with elastic band or hands. Option two, you can probably close the gap between your knee and your chest. A bit closer here. Open your toes and turn your feet to activate the ankle joints. Inhale and exhale. The other direction, inhale and exhale, then everything relax on the floor, just relax, chin side, left to the right and bring your right knee close to you, inhale here, exhale turn to the left, middle and right. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. The other direction. Inhale to the right, middle and left. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and we stay here. I'll bring the right knee close to the chest. Open your toes and turn slowly the ankle. And the other direction of the ankle. Inhale and slowly exhale. And relax everything down to your floor. We finish warming up all the joints, we begin with Pilates. Bring your feet parallel underneath the knee. Your hands cross behind your back. Inhale slowly. The ribs open. Exhale, pulling your belly button and your pelvis floor in to activate your core and lift with your rectus abdominis or you can call it six pack you feel it's working and look into your navel inhale here relax exhale you lift this is option one if you can't and without any back pain option two with the legs bend and up Inhale, exhale, we go up, inhale, we go down, exhale, we go up, 
One more time. Inhale. And exhale. We can stay for three breaths or relax. Then we bring to the next level. We can extend the legs and see if you can. If it's hard, you can just go back to the previous option. Knee bend or feet on the floor or totally relax. Inhale and slowly we go down. The bridge, the counter pose. The feet well parallel underneath the knee. Inhale here. Exhale, you lift your hips and lift your chin. You can stay or if it's possible, cross your hands, push them down. Push very well all the toes so that you feel the inner thigh, the outer thigh, the back of your legs, the hamstring and the glutes. Slowly inhale and slowly exhale. Slowly down. Then again bring your hands behind your head. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going to go up. Option one, you keep the knee open like this. Inhale and exhale. You're going to feel a slightly stretch inside your legs and also the six pack or rectus abdominis working if you lift up. You can stay for three breaths or just relax. If it's quite easy for you, option two, where you open your legs, then we repeat the same thing. We go up and down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale. Then you stay for three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And last one. Your feet underneath the knee parallel. Go into bridge by pushing the floor with arms and feet. Lifting your chin and your hips. Option two. Push very well the arm cross onto the floor and all the toes and feel the glutes, the hamstrings inside your legs and outside your legs working. Slowly we go down. Relax your body. Place the right leg bent so the top of the right ankle on the top of the left knee and cross your hands behind your head inhale here exhale left knee look into the left chest and look into the navel inhale option one we go down to the floor option two you'll be slightly lifting if it's too hard, you can also lift higher. Point your feet, activate your legs. Inhale and exhale, we bring it close. Option one is everything on the floor. Option two here, the legs and three a bit lower. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale we're going to change side first relax then left on the right above the knee option one we start from the floor inhale slowly exhale you bend the knee the right knee look into the right side of the chest and you can look into your navel and feel your six pack or rectus abdominis working. Option two, the legs extend, 
in midway, or you can always change a bit higher, a bit lower. Option three, really point your feet, activate your legs, and lower your legs, and bring it closer. So, your legs depends on how strong your belly and your back. Inhale, and exhale. The lower, the stronger. And the easiest one is on the floor. Inhale, and exhale. And slowly, the last bridge, push your feet, your arms, and lift your hips. Inhale here, and exhale. Then we're going to work the side of your body as well as the hip rotator. Bend the knee and lift the feet up. This one is called the oyster. Make sure your arms in line with your body, parallel with the long side of the mat. Keep your two feet up. You can put your hand here to feel the movement of your hips. Inhale, we're going to open the knee. Exhale, knee down and foot up. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Then we extend the legs. Point your feet. Inhale. Exhale, we go up and back. Inhale, we go forward. Exhale, go up and back. The other direction. Inhale, we go up and forward. Exhale, we go back. Inhale, go up. Exhale, we go back around the world. Then we're going to strengthen the side. So the hips is 90 degrees to the floor. Keep your two hands as support. Inhale, the core active, reach down, tailbones towards your knee. Inhale here. Exhale, push. And you feel this whole side strengthening to lift yourself up. Inhale slowly. Exhale, push and lift. Inhale slowly. Exhale, push and lift. One more time. Inhale slowly. And exhale, exhale push and lift. We're going to do the other side. Lie on the floor for the oyster. Keep your feet up. Inhale, we're going to open the legs. Exhale, knee down and foot up. Inhale, we open. Exhale, knee down and foot up. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Extend the legs slightly in front 45 degrees with the midline. Open all the tongue to support and stabilize, pointing the legs of the upper legs. Inhale, keep the hips stable and around the world rotation. Ribs always down. Inhale, we go up. Exhale, we go back. The other direction. Inhale, we go up and forward. Exhale, back. Inhale and exhale. Then we bring everything in one line to strengthen the side of the body. Pointing your feet, ribs down, tailbone down. Inhale slowly. Exhale, we lift the side body to strengthen. Inhale slowly. Exhale, we strengthen the side body. Inhale, exhale, strengthening the side. Last one, inhale and exhale. Then we're going to slowly come down to the belly. I'm going to turn my head 
towards the Buddha. So we lie on the floor and we're going to strengthen in the whole back. First, we're going to activate the legs by bringing the big toes together. Internal rotation in your legs. Two knee look down. Tailbone, tailbone. Tilt towards your knee to activate the glute muscle. Then you feel the belly button lift. Then the whole cock set, we can call it. Abdominal or core is active. This protects your lower back and strengthening the whole core. You're going to keep cross your hand like this to support. And inhale slowly. Exhale, tailbone back. Option one, you just lift the upper body or just lift the legs. Option two, you're going to lift everything. And again, you can also just a small lift or a bit higher. Lift and strengthening. You should feel the whole back strengthening and no strain in the lower back. Inhale slowly. Exhale, we're going to lift. Inhale slowly. Exhale, we're going to lift. Inhale slowly. Exhale, we lift. And last one, inhale slowly. And we lift. You can just stay here for three breaths or you relax. Next, we're going to do eight arms at the back. Bring your shoulder blades back. As so you have a pen and you keep that pen between your shoulder blades to strengthening the shoulder blades muscle. Inhale slowly, tailbones back, bend the button in and you lift. Inhale slowly, exhale, you lift. Inhale slowly, exhale, you lift. And the last time, inhale slowly and you lift and relax. And you're going to extend your arms. If you can do parallel, please do so. If it's difficult, open your arms slightly. We're going to lift the opposite arms and legs till your pelvis back and always turn into rotation in your legs. Inhale slowly, we prepare the whole body. Exhale, you're going to lift the right arms and the left leg. If it's too hard for you, lift one of the two without lifting your head. If it's easy, then you lift a bit higher. Inhale. And exhale, you're going to lift the opposite arms and legs. Inhale. Exhale, lift your foot, opposite arms and legs. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Then, the last option, if it's too hard, you bring your arms back or behind your head. Inhale slowly. Tailbones back and lift. Inhale slowly. Tailbones back and lift. Inhale slowly. And last one. You can choose relax or stay for three breaths. Inhale slowly and exhale. Inhale slowly and exhale. And then just relax. We finished the Pilates part. We're going to now go into the flow of yoga. Place your hands with open fingers underneath your elbow and bring your shoulder blades closer to your pants. Activate your shoulder muscle. And the big toes together and tailbone tilt towards your knee. Inhale slowly. You feel the core muscle that is the whole pelvis floor 
and lower belly and belly active it supports you to go up into the upward dog this one would strengthening the back and stretching the front inhale slowly here for the upward dog exhale we're going to go into downward dog i step my hand at the front and then slowly into downward dog first the hands wide open like the feet of a bird the arms are strong and straight push the tailbone towards your ceiling as you melt your heart towards your legs and feel your back straight if you feel that lower back a bit round please try to tilt a bit forward and then keep it straight and then keep the back and arms straight inhale we're going to extend the right heel if you are stiff with the superficial back line that go all the way behind your head, your back and your legs and please keep slightly knee bent and don't fully extend you need to keep the back straight inhale and exhale I switch inhale and exhale bend feet together inhale look into your two hands step or hop yourself forward in one or two or several step we're going to chair pose we sit back make sure your knee not go over your toes we strengthen the glute in the chair pose inhale here exhale hands into your heart inhale we're going to do the one <laughs> wind my exercise or around the world very important here before you extend your chest is the ribs down and tailbone down core active the whole core the coccyx to protect your back chest forward and up then option two you cannot add on your hips but if you feel enough then just lift your chest inhale we extend the front line exhale we're going to stretch the side we round the upper back and we're lowering the shoulders then we go to the side and again we stay in the middle inhale here the other direction to the side round your back inhale to the side and extend open the chest inhale exhale open your chest and bend over your legs inhale and relax your lower back and straighten your back and your legs bend the knee hands on the floor inhale here exhale we're going to full plank left foot right foot full plank make sure you're not hanging in your shoulders push your hand so that the whole plank is a strong point. The alignment is the point behind your head, the point between your shoulder blades, and the point behind your hips in all one line. We're going to keep it for one more breath. If it's too hard for you, we do immediately the half plank. The same, the plank, one line, ribs in, core strong. Inhale here. Bend your elbow next to your ribs, shoulders back, keep your core and push your hand as you slowly go down. Hands underneath your elbow and shoulders back. Inhale slowly. Exhale, opening the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, we're going down with dog. With first the arm, then the back, finally the two legs. You can still keep your legs bent if it's, your back begins to round. Feel the chest and the ribs open as you inhale. As you exhale, feel the stretch behind your back. Extend behind your legs onto your feet. Put two feet together, 
bend the knee, inhale, exhale, option one, you step, option two, really put your hands sticky on the mat and small hop in front, inhale, we sit in a chair pose, exhale, hands into your heart, tree pose, inhale, open your arms, exhale, as I stand on one feet, I'm going to show you to the front. So now I'm going to stand on the left. I open all the toes. I bring the hips in. And this hand I use to support the legs. Option one, we can support the legs and extend all the way. So this line has to be very active towards the ceiling. As you gaze yourself with soft eyes, one point in front of you, that would help the balance, then we can try option two. Inhale slowly and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We switch sides. Open all the toes, have a very grounding feet on the floor. Hips in, gaze yourself into one point. Option one, we stay here. You can always keep your feet also down under your knee. Option two, push your two hands together. Open the legs a bit more and then gaze softly against one fixed point. Inhale slowly and exhale. Inhale and exhale one more time. Then bring your hands into your heart. Inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, opening your chest towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, strong long back, bend the knee over your legs. Inhale, just relax everything. Exhale, extend your legs. Hands on the floor, inhale here. Exhale, extend the right legs back. We're gonna stretch the front line here. The runner stretch. Inhale, exhale, we go back. Straight legs, arm until where you can. Then we do option two. One leg, one arms up, extend the right arms away from the hips. Inhale and exhale, we go back. And then last one. Inhale, we go all the way up. Hands together, lift your chest away from the hips. Exhale, hands down, strong arm, legs and back. Then inhale, we go to the downward dog and we stretch the legs and the back. Inhale slowly. Exhale, set the right foot in front. The runner stretch in front of the right on the left side. Inhale and exhale. Make sure the two legs are parallel and knee looking right down. And then option two, extend one arm, inhale and exhale, straight arm, legs and back. Last one, inhale and exhale, long back, legs and arms. To downward dog, inhale, first the back, then the legs, inhale here, and exhale, we're going to bend the knee, and we step or hop yourself at the front, inhale, into chest, exhale, hand to your heart, inhale, we're going to warrior one. Step the right foot at the back and bend the left knee. 
the two heels are in line, the left foot parallel alongside the mat, and the right look into one, two, or three o'clock. Extend your arms, inhale, we stretch the front of the right legs, bend the knee and strengthen the leg. Then we go into warrior two. And that is this, the right foot will parallel with the short side, strengthen the legs. Then we change. Bend the knee, inhale, stretch in front of the left thighs, and exhale, warrior two. Then hands together, inhale, and turn the hands to the ground, to the downward dog. Inhale here, exhale, we glide in your right leg to the front for the pigeon. The right knee to the right side, left foot, knee, and the other foot make a long parallel line to the long side of the mat. Make sure that the back knee look down. So you need to interrotation your legs. Your hip is square, look in the front, and you have no pain in your knee. If you do, maybe your hips are too stiff, you're going to slightly bring your knee more in a straight line. If you still pain in your knee, we're going to do on your back. The thread and middle pose, and not this pose. Inhale, we're going to go down into your elbow and feel that stretch here. Inhale slowly, exhale, then we go down for option two, and finally option three. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your hips are square, not tilting to left or side. Just square. Inhale slowly. And exhale, relax your hips. Inhale slowly to your belly. Exhale, relax your hips. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. Relax. Bring your two hands into your knee or knee and foot. Then we go down, what dog? Inhale here. Exhale, we're gliding the left shin to the front, left knee to the left side, the foot, knee foot, one line with a long knee look down, hips square at the front, not to one side, not to the other side. Inhale here, exhale, elbow. Relax your hips. Inhale and exhale. Then we're going to option two or option three. Inhale slowly and exhale, relax. Inhale slowly, exhale, relax. One more time. Inhale to your belly. Relax your hips. Relax. Bring your two hands back into downward dog. Inhale slowly downward dog. Exhale full plank, half plank, and lowering yourself down. Into the butterfly, you can choose option one, your arms like this, and we try option two. If you can like, stretch back the whole minus, the chest muscle here. If it's really hard for you, you stay with option one. No pain in the shoulders or any joint, please. Inhale, we do, we fold the knee, same return, keep your knee down. And then we're going to take the toes of the left foot to stretch the crown of step. Make sure you don't see the knee like this in front. It goes back and stretch very well the hip flexors of the left side as well as the chest and the arms. 
Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. And relax. We're going to change sides. Your arm extend or bend as high as the elbow as high as your two shoulders. Knee down. Fold. No knee pain, please. Keep the knee down and back. And then we're going to stretch the quadricep and the chest as well as the arms. Inhale slowly. And exhale, relax. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. And relax everything. We're going to the crocodile. The crocodile or shoelace, the option one, it's just one arm that cross from one shoulder to the next shoulder. Then you open the legs until you feel the stretch inside your leg. If you feel very comfortable here, and you feel a deep stretch, maybe not enough, you're going to add two arm. That's option two. And the arm just above the chest. And cross it the other shoulder. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your upper back. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your lower back. Relax. We change side. The other arm is one or two arm, shoelace or crocodile. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Relax. Turn on your back. <clears throat> For half happy baby. Open your legs to the side and take with your hand. It is difficult, use an elastic band. And Keep the two sides, the hips flat on the floor and feel that stretch here as well as some here. Inhale slowly. And exhale, relax your legs. Inhale slowly. Relax your hips. Inhale slowly. Relax your hips. Then Bend that knee and do a twist of the spine. Inhale slowly and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And with the chin side. Inhale slowly and exhale. Inhale slowly, exhale. Inhale slowly, exhale, relax your legs, then bend the knee and then open your chest and twist your spine. You can always keep your knee above the floor. Don't need to bring it all the way down. No low back pain, just a rotation of up the spine. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax your back. Inhale slowly. Relax your back. Inhale slowly. Relax. Last one is the banana. Right, legs to the right, hips flat. Left cross over. 
It's that. Extend your arms if needed. Put something underneath. It is, uh, your shoulders are stiff. Extend your arm and set yourself over to the same side. I feel a deep stretch along the left side of the body. Inhale. Extend your arms away from your feet. Exhale, relax. Inhale slowly. Exhale, relax. Inhale slowly, exhale relax, and we switch side, extend, inhale slowly, exhale relax, inhale slowly, exhale relax. Inhale slowly, exhale, relax. Bend, open your arms and let's start beginning. Everything flat and feel the flow. The body is flatter than from the beginning. Inhale slowly. and legs relax. Feel your inner peace. Totally relax. 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 Slowly Turn to the side and let everything just melt into the floor. Inhale and everything relax. Push the floors away and come into sitting. Sitting straight with hands into your heart. Inhale slowly to chest and belly. Namaste. Thank you so much for spending this hour with me. Hopefully you feel totally relaxed and working in every single part of your body. I hope to see you soon in the studio.